Hey everybody, it's Gina B. Welcome to my channel. Let's bring that camera down just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, uh, but I'm really super excited um, about sharing with you uh, a few flip throughs. This was this is just one. Uh, I just finished this little journal um, and I made it for a friend and I'll be shipping it out to her um, Monday. And I followed along with Nick the Booksmith's, uh, I think, folio notebook tutorial video. Um, but I will do my best and try to remember to post the link to that um, down below once I'm finished. Uh, this is going to be shipped out to a friend of mine. Her name is Natalie. Uh, I've been friends with her for several years, um, but there was a time period where our lives kind of, life just put our lives in different directions. Uh, however, for the last three years, her and I have been, um, thanks to social media and Facebook and Messenger, uh, we still keep in contact with each other. But um, she's gone through a lot, and uh, in the past year, I have noticed and uh, want to recognize her for um, just becoming a, a great woman. Um, she has found strengths um, that I'm not even sure if I could possess, um, but I think she is doing great. And I want to acknowledge her and let her know how much I appreciate her as a friend and and want to give her a place to go to so she can write down her feelings, her thoughts, um, maybe stick up or, or glue a picture of an important day or, or whatever, whatever she wants. Um, but so this is kind of like a, a random act of kindness. Um, and then I'm going to send to her, and I hope that she likes it, and I hope you like um, the flip through. Um, so here we go. Uh, it measures about, sorry about my Tim Holtz ruler. It's in pretty rough shape, but I use it all the time for everything. So um, here we go. It is about, hmm, about seven and a half inches tall and about five and a quarter inches in width. I zigzag stitched all the way around it. Um, the cover is made with uh, brown craft cardstock and then decorative paper on top with, she loves peacocks, she loves owls, she loves yellow roses violet purple shades of color um so i kind of i tried to incorporate all of the things that she loves inside the journal i also did like a little bead dangle on the side um with like a rainbow kind of charm gemstone thing it's attached to the with a it's attached with a bulb pin and some really cool beads that um i got over the summer or over this past summer so here we go and I've got a seam binding closure and obviously you can see at the front is a really cool image of a pe peacock that I found on Pinterest let's see here uh, on the inside you'll notice there's a picture of uh, that's a picture of Natalie and her daughter uh, that was in 2011, and I've known Natalie since about 2010, um, and uh, boy, she's come a long way, and I think that she'll appreciate being able to look at that image of her, her and her daughter, because her daughter, well, her, next month her daughter will, I believe she'll be nine. And then there's a private little note right here that I wrote for her. Um, there is a fabric ruffle here with some really cool buttons that came out of my grandmother's stash um, that I've had for a long time. I did, I embossed a tag and uh, then I sprayed 
glimmer mist with some eyelash trim up here uh, for the top of the tag. I glued it in. There's a little tuck here, but this is one of the few spots that I left open so she could tuck whatever she wants in. Um, and this is in a little stamp here that says friend to friend. Uh, there's a side pocket. And I added, I made a little, um, as I said, she loves yellow roses. So I found this also on Pinterest. And it's just some scrap coffee stained paper, uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper. Um, and so she can just tuck it right in there. There's some stenciling here. Um, <clears throat> throughout here, you'll also see, um, I've exp been experimenting with jelly plate printing. I've been having so much fun. It's so addicting. Uh, I, the first time I tried it, I did it, I think, for eight hours straight. And I, I mean, I literally lost track of time. Uh, I, it was just, it's incredibly addicting. And I had so much fun. So this is one of those pages of the jelly plate printing. And then this over here is cardstock that's um, mm, distress oxides, Tim Holtz distress oxides and some water misting there. Um, I, I just love that effect. I do it a lot. And then there's a piece of a notepad here that says focus on the good because um, I think it's important to remind her and, and all of us that because uh, sometimes it's not easy to focus on the good when some things are not going our way. But uh, so it's definitely just a good, just a happy reminder. Uh, this is the first half of a collage, collaged page that I did. Uh, onto some, I'm pretty sure that this is um, like really thick paper that I found in a really old uh, recipe book. So I just collaged over it. And then the little flowers you see right here are um, Tim Holtz mini tattered floral dyes. Um, and the, leave, the leaves are part of that and so is the, the, the twig, or the, it looks like a, like the branch of a tree. Um, decorative paper, some jelly printing um, right here. I'm not sure if you can see it all that well, but that's also a die too. And it says, it looks like a ticket. And it says, ticket, best day ever with some numbers on the side. Uh, she loves peacocks. And this page, I decoupaged a peacock napkin there and then I made a side pocket with another die cut here another shade of purple or violet and an old stamp from India down here and again another embossed tag with a really cool image of a peacock there and on the back of all of my tags I usually glue uh, coffee stained paper so sh there's space for anyone to journal on them um, then of course I said she liked owl so I did another tag here with um, stenciled the word believe um, another little another little tag right here just um, uh, the image I found again on Pinterest um, with some really cool it feels like seam binding but it's it's just like a a netted, shiny, but really soft ribbon. Uh, and I did distress oxides on the back, on the background of the tag. And then I did some script stamping and an old clock here and, and some numbers over here. Um, this is one of my marbled papers that I did. I really like how that one came out. And then there's uh, an altered paper clip that says hope. Um, I followed along pretty much uh, a tutorial from, oh my goodness, what is her name? Teresa LaFrance. Uh, and, and I followed along and did her, her altered, al altered paper clip tutorial. And that's what I did. This is a 
image from, I think this little, I, I just made it smaller. It's an, one of the images from Mrs. Coggs, I'm pretty sure. Um, not positive, but pretty sure. Uh, and then there's a tag here. Again, she loves peacocks, so I had a stamp. And it says, thank you. This is a blending of distress oxide colors. And I think this is citrus, citron, shaded violet, and faded blue jeans. And then I just did a distressed black soot around the edge with some more blue shiny um, eyelash trim. Some old book sheet paper. It came from a, a book that I found at a, a garage sale. I think the date on it was 19... Oh, I want to say 1922, but I'm not positive. I think it said 1922. Every, a little, you know, another space here for her to write, you know, everyday life notes and, you know, things she doesn't want to forget or, or whatever. Um, coffee stain paper. And then a, a corner tuck spot here with a really cool image of a, an owl. Um, and then another little, just a simple little tag with a stamp and it says, God is love. Uh, I embossed this tuck spot right here, this pocket, <clears throat> and I just put some distress stain over it so it would, you know, bring out the image. And I stenciled a leaf on the page there. Um, and this is some, some of my favorite washi tape. This is of just some leaves, and then this is more colorful on the other side. But, um... Coffee stained paper with some, with like a vent, a, a little, um, what do they call them? Like a, a grill, grill walk on the bottom side of that. I used it and that's what came out. I thought that was cool. The other side of some marbled paper. And then here is a, um, like a belly band, but it's, I honestly don't remember where I learned how to do this. I think her name is, mm, I'm not sure. I will try to find the, vi the video that I watched to how, and on how I learned how to, to do this. Um, but it's, I just, there's some stamped leaves and some flowery stamps. Um, and then this is side is all posted stamps of um, herbal, like rhodiola, rosea, chamomile, echinacea. And the top is tutsan, I think it's called, tutsan. And then there's another stamp right here. It says postage, postage due. And then I added a little uh, Tim Holtz word token. It says brave because I think Natalie is brave to endure all the things she's endured and, and, and to, uh, still, uh, she's just doing really well in her life and I'm, and I'm pretty proud of her. So let's try to slide this back on. I don't want to rip it. There we go. I tried to make it just perfect size to slide onto that. And then there's just like a, a, a coffee stain lace tab at the top. Hope I'm not totally out of focus here. Uh, marble paper, coffee stained paper. And then here's the other side of that collaged paper, collaged sheet that I did. And I really like how it came out. Another, that's another um, die. A little tr like flowery tree branch kind of die that I experimented with. Jelly plate print, some big washi tape says loving life, more coffee stain paper, another side tuck right here, uh, a side pocket, excuse me. And then of course she loves yellow roses. So I decoupaged a napkin on and distressed the edges of some yellow roses. And there's the backside. 
So I hope you liked my little flip through of this journal. Um, I'm going to let her know that I have done this video and I'm going to tell her that she can't watch it until she gets, until she receives it in the mail. Um, will she listen to me? I don't know. Probably not. Um, cause she's impatient like me. Um, she'll probably go ahead and watch it anyways. And that's okay. I, I'm okay with it. Um, but Natalie, I just want you to know from me to you, I love you, girl. I'm proud of you. You have come a long, long way. And, um, I consider myself blessed to have you as my friend and, um, stay tuned everyone because in just a few minutes, I'm going to be uploading another flip through of another journal, very similar in size and, and like this one, but that's another, it's, it's going to be another gift for another woman that I met and I'll explain all about her, uh, in the next video. So stay tuned, hold on to your britches, everyone. I'm coming right back. Bye for now.